Hello and welcome to Devlog 10. I'm Ian Lindsay from Game Digits, and this week I'll be going through the ghost shader, some bug fixes, the machines, the physics audio, and the X-ray system. <laughs> So the ghost shader was written in high level shader language, and it works by taking the normal of the object and comparing it to the current view angle. This is called rim lighting, and he added various tweakable parameters including a colour. This can be used to show where objects can be placed, but also on this. Let's talk about bug fixing. It's never too early to fix bugs in a game, and there's one in particular that's been bugging me. As you can see here, there's bad physics happening on this grabbable object. It's going right through another grabbable object that has its physics constraints frozen. However, I noticed it was fine on other objects that just had colliders. Therefore, I added extra collision outside of the grabbable object, which seemed to fix it. Physics fix done. Speaking of physics, I put impact sounds on the objects using Impact CFX from the Asset Store. It took a while to set up, but it seems to be working alright. I just hope it doesn't. Thankfully it hasn't yet, so I moved on to the machine screens. These little screens that show the player what the machine is doing and displays little messages to give a bit more feedback. Great stuff. I don't know about you, but I think it's time for some modelling. At lightning speed! Lamp done. But then I kept running out of memory when using Substance Painter. There was only one thing I could do. Plus 16 gigabyte done. So after the upgrade, it worked fine on my laptop. Yeah, I'm using a laptop to make a VR game. Why not? Let's get modelling. At lightning speed! Monitor done. Filing cabinets. Another thing I did this week was to set up the X-Ray system I made previously. This is absolutely necessary in this game, as a player cannot move, and key gameplay elements can easily be lost behind other objects. This works by having trigger boxes in the scene, and when an object enters them, a special shader is applied, which reverses the Z test and shows a specific colour instead. The raycast from the hand then ignores other objects. Well, thank you for watching Devlog 10 of the Puppet Hotel VR project. I think there's only one thing left to do now. Hey, quit that. Quit messing around. I'm not into that. This is my personal bubble. You're all up in it. Stay out of my bubble. Thank you for watching. See you in Devlog 11. Until then, stay out of my bubble. <laughs> <laughs>